Hello, Stovies. Right, uh, <clears throat> what you saw at the beginning there was uh, a bit of a test I've just done of a water boiler that I've built. And it, this is the stove that I intend to put it in. It is a rocket stove. You can see though, it looks kind of like a conventional stove. Uh, there are the dimensions, 3 foot, 28 inches, 24 inches, that's a rough size of it flew out the top. A third of the stove will be the burn chamber with the glass door on it. There will be some kind of vent control, air vent control on the side there and there will be a, a glass wash system to keep that glass clean. The air will be drawn in round the front somehow which I haven't quite figured out yet but that's not that's not the hard bit. These two doors will be uh, doors for cleaning out inside the business end of the stove where the rocket sits. I guess you're wondering how I'm going to make this work. So if you look at the, <coughs> the actual stove, as I said this is going to be the burn chamber. This will have all the firewood in it, the logs, the sticks. I want a big burn chamber because I don't want to be stoking the, the stove up every hour, two hours. I'm thinking this is probably going to burn for four or five hours, maybe longer, damp down. That's, that's something I don't quite know yet. So how it works is, uh, the burn chamber runs along the bottom. It may actually run along the bottom yet, I'm, I'm not quite sure. So it may run kind of like that. In, you know burn down or it may burn straight across but in any case the, the actual rocket tube will be in there I'm drawing this crooked now because I'm, I'm not square on but uh, anyway you get it that will that, that will be the actual rocket part of the stove the jacket I've just built the motor jacket I've just built will stand on top of that like so. So the fumes and flames and heat will come out. This is the boiler you saw fizzing away. It's, uh, it's actually two bottles, one welded inside the other, kind of a bell shape. And it's got the return on the bottom and the, it's tapped for the flow on the top and that's what was shoved over the rocket tube not quite so the fumes and flames and heat will come out it will run inside the jacket it will burn back down it will exit the bottom then it will travel up and back out the flue from each side I've actually done a test on this um, with some barrels and some bits and pieces I think I've mentioned this and it burned really well it came straight out of the flue I only had a short piece of flue on it about three foot long but the draw was instant it was straight out the top and it burned clean within a, with, within a minute I was really surprised so it does actually work this configuration does work now I've done a test with the boiler, that's the fizzy thing you saw steaming away today. Um, and that boiler, the boiler, the boiler holds roughly two gallon. It's actually a pint under two gallon. And the little setup I had outside there, it boiled that water in. It was about ten minutes, something like that. But obviously, there isn't the correct drawer on the rocket because it's got, it's actually got no flue mechanism. To draw everything up so what's happening is the the, the rocket's burning fine and it's coming down but because the the, the uh, well what, what should we say the fumes the gases are, are just spilling out the, the, the gases are just spilling away they're not actually getting drawn back up so when when this whole thing is encased and, and with a flu system on it it will all get drawn out much quicker much better um, 
got a little video now of the uh, little burn chamber I've built with the vortex in it. The actual pipe is 20, is it 20 inches? I think it's 20 inches long. And that's roughly going to be the size of the pipe that goes into the rocket stove, into this stove. Uh, This is the uh, little riser I've built for the uh, water boiler. The riser tube's just about 18 inches long and it's got that vortex built into it. There is a secondary air hole at the bottom as well. It's not bad actually for a little rocket. It pulls really well with that short tube. Um, normally these things don't work too well without a big flue but uh, this, this is work, working fine and you can see it's a really clean burn on it you see the heat haze rising from there this will have a firebox on the front of course It's not that tidy with the insulation, but you know it's working great. Um, so I've got a few things to do yet. I'm not. I'm not totally set on having this boiler yet, there's a, there's a few other options I want to explore but before I dismiss this or stick with this I need to house it all in a, in a proper housing just to try it out um, because there may be better ways of, of heating this completely, it may be better where the burn tube comes up It may be better to have a jacket around it and then spiral some pipes around, if you know what I mean. Spiral some stainless steel pipes around that and then come in and out for the flow and return around the outside. It may be better to simply run the pipes around the actual uh, jacket of the rocket. I don't know yet. It's uh, Sometime, anyway, I'll, I'll, I will explore this jacket thing before before I go any further because I built the damn thing so <laughs> it's taken me about two hours to build it so I'm, I'm not just going to dispose of it yet. It worked, don't get me wrong, but there may be better, more viable options but I'm going to go with this. Okay, you got any comments or uh, any help you can give me, give us a shout. Okay guys? If you like, like and subscribe, subscribe and thanks to all my new subscribers and any questions you want to ask, give me a shout. Okay, bye. Bye for now.